In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the best secret Windows 10 settings to optimize your Windows for Fortnite to gain massive amounts of FPS. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah, guys, for the first step in today's video, what I want to do is go into your Windows search bar and just type in background. And as you can see, the first setting which should show up is called background apps. And yeah, it's pretty much showcasing right now all the background applications which are running on your Windows 10 by default, which you don't even necessarily need for gaming. They're just putting on a huge workload on your system overall. And the easiest way how to disable all of them is by simply turn this on off, let apps run in the background, turn off obviously. But let's say if you have some apps like Spotify or maybe your Nvidia control panel, you just wanna have on then yeah, obviously just turn it on, on and make sure to deactivate everything which is completely unnecessarily like connect, feedback hub, get help, camera, calculator, alarms and clock. I mean, who, who sets an alarm on his PC? I, I don't get it. <laughs> I mean, we all got mobile phones or <laughs> and yeah, some other stuff. I don't know, paint 3D, never use this in my life here. Um, sticky notes, whatsoever, uh, all that stuff here. And if you have any applications you want to have definitely turned on, then yeah, just do it yourself. Other than that, if you want to go the safe way, just put this here on off and you're good to go. And this is it pretty much for the first step. So, and for the next step, I'm quite sure everyone knows how to delete their temp files on Windows. All you have to do is type in presenter, um, temp presenter, and then open up the first folder and it shows you all the temporary files. But actually guys, those are not all of them. So for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna delete them here, even though it's not that much. Just gonna delete it here. And normally people would think, okay, I deleted all of my temporary files here, right? No, wrong. What you guys need to do is type in run into your Windows search bar and open up this window here. And then you get to type in here as well again, temp. And it will show you the rest of all the temporary files on your PC. I just did this today already, so there's not that much. But here are also some Windows temporary files, which you normally can't find in the presenter temp presenter file, you know, in the app data. So make sure to do both of them to actually delete all the temporary files on your PC since those are Windows related but they're not necessarily and they're just taking up some disk space and also if you don't even use these files or they're not have like being used by Windows overall by any program Windows knows all its files and is consistently like working with them in the background so just make sure to delete them all and yeah you should be good to go and for the first step of this video I want to show you a program which is called Malwarebytes I hope I pronounce this right and what this program does is pretty self explanatory um, no, I don't want premium. Um, it's free to use, first of all, and it scans all, all of the malware or, I don't know, some, some cookies on your web browser, all this stuff, the unnecessary programs on your PC. And if you hit scan here, no, I don't want, I don't want this. I want to use the free version. Um, if you hit scan there, it's going to scan your whole entire PC for some malware programs, some unnecessarily cookies from your web browser, and overall some programs in the background which you don't even need, which just been like installed while installing maybe some other programs, you know, you always get like some add, um, some additional cookies for your web browser for Chrome, let's say you download Adobe, they always give you like something for Chrome as well, and all this stuff which is really unnecessarily, which you just don't need, and this program will scan for it, and also for viruses, so if you've got any of these on your PC, um, you should be pretty well saved here and yeah as you guys can see it's right now scanning all of my items here on my PC and then it's gonna tell me if I've got something or not and you also got a real-time protection but this is all premium stuff but this scan here the basic one is free to use and the program is actually really good I've been using it now for a bunch of weeks maybe even a bunch of months probably yeah <laughs> and I have to say I'm really happy with it because it's not only deleting like viruses and stuff like that it's also doing like these unnecessary programs which just put a huge workload on your pc as well and are running in the background which you just don't need and yeah this is definitely the first step boys and let's continue to the next one so and for the final step here what i want you to do is go again into your windows search bar and type in appearance and as you can see the first thing which pops up is adjust the appearance and performance of windows and we just want to click on that here and normally it would be on the first one, let Windows choose what's best for my computer. Then you can also choose for best appearance, but also adjust for best performance. And this is what you want to do, guys. Um, for me personally, I like these two options here on my Windows, so it doesn't really look like Windows, I don't know, an old version, you know. So yeah, I just gotta keep it on custom here and put these two here on, since I really like them. Um, save testbar, thumbnail, previous. 
Um, this is really cool when I'm editing, you know, so I see what's like in the video itself, in the video file, and show thumbnails instead of icons. But this is all per personal preference. If you want to go for the best performance, obviously just select this here and hit apply and OK, and your windows will put all the animations down. You see, if I'm moving here my window around, you can see it's not actually showing the full window. If you're still on the first one, you it, it should show the whole window here while moving it. And this is just saving some performance, which can be used for gaming since Windows is running all the time. Obviously, it's your operating system. And yeah, with that said, guys, we're good to go here as well. And for the next step, guys, what I want to do is open up your NVIDIA control panel. If you're on the AMD side, don't worry, you get pretty much the same settings. It's just called differently. And what I want you to do, guys, in the first place is go and adjust image settings with preview. And then it's probably going to be here on the middle one where it's like deciding, like your PC is deciding. But you want to make sure to go on the third option and it's going to be on balance. Just pull it all the way over here to the left side on performance and apply. And after that, go into manage 3D settings and just make sure to copy my settings here straight up. Those are for the maximum performance, the lowest input delay, everything, all the best settings. This works for every NVIDIA PC. Just make sure to copy everything one by one. The only thing where you need to decide for yourself is G-Sync, since I don't know which monitor you're running. If you're running an a, like a non-G-Sync monitor, uh, make sure to turn this off because you're using free sync, that's the technology. And if you have a monitor which is straight up 60 hertz with no sync technology at all, just make sure to put this off because um, you gotta use V-Sync if you want any sort of sync technology in the game then, specifically. So yeah, just make sure to copy all of this here, showing it one more time. Okay, you got everything. And then go back to just image settings because as you can see, Nvidia again put it here on the on the second one because we just changed something in the 3D settings. So just go back here and put it on performance again and hit apply. And then you're pretty much done here as well with this step. And yeah guys, this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This would help me out the easiest way possible. And don't forget guys, the two battle pass giveaway is still going on for three more days and all the infos are down in the description. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome, I'm out, peace.